speed map and sources and autofill. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to create cool speed map, how they works in fact, and how to control from where autofill should start growing. So this tutorial will be pretty fun at the beginning and at the end it will be a little bit more technical for those who really need to know how everything works. Okay, uh, this pizza looks pretty cool. And what we're going to do? We're going to delete everything and create it from scratch. And I will demonstrate you how fast and easy, in fact, all that. Again, where is our pizza? Here it is. So what will happen if we will try to reveal everything just from one point? Uh, the boring reveal will happen. Let's make it faster like that. It just we're revealing in a boring way. What we can do about it? We can duplicate this outer fill, delete first outer fill, and then I'm going to our speed map could use effect and masks and uh, brightness information from your input that we're using right now. We can already use our logo as a speed map. And what's happening here? We can already see that it goes faster. You see? It goes faster on white spots of pizza and goes slower on this black uh, lines and go faster again on yellow spots. And just like that, we already have not circle reveal. This flat reveal and this is already with a speed map. And in fact, what could you do? You can increase speed map influence. So it will be even faster on the bright parts and will be really, really slow on the black parts. And just like that, we already have some cool reveal animation. Maybe it's a little bit too fast. Let's make it 11. Look at that. That's it. In fact, we can be already satisfied with the result, but we go further. And let's make it even more interesting. So, how could this be more controllable? We can create our own speed map, but still by using original image. And what I'm creating right now is black and white instruction for autofill, where it should be faster and where it should be slower. So what we did, because it's like cartoon and this stroke should be revealed first like a painter painting pizza and everything else should be slower that's exactly what we did uh, it will be faster here and slower on the black spots and let's have a look now we use effect and masks luma and yes you right away could see that it goes really fast on black strokes and then being filled with color. Okay, but it's a little bit too extreme. Let's uh, slow down speed map influence a little bit. And yes, now we have it. Uh, to make it not so extreme, we can apply Gaussian Blur a little bit. And now our lines become softer, because we blurred out our speed map a little bit. Look at that. And then, about stylization, we just cont uh, Ctrl Shift C this pizza duplicate it several times and create uh, let's fill the first one with black color so now we have strokes again look at that 
pretty cool. And then we're going to apply red color from pepperoni. And maybe make it shorter. Huh? And just like that, we created something interestingly looking like I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial. The next example, which is really, again, delete everything, which is really important, by the way, it's plants. And here, what we want to create, uh, we come too far to give up. Yes. Now we have our alpha channel. Uh, let's make like that. And let's apply outer fill from here. And you can already see that it growing, it revealing, but a little bit in a boring way. Like you can clearly see this circle. Again, duplicate your logo, delete outer fill. And then we're going to make these branches to reveal to be revealed faster and leaves should be revealed slower. What we should do, we should make these branches white and these leaves should be black. We're going to apply tint, swap colors and using levels. Yes, we created this speed map. So again, here everything is white and it will be faster and here it will be slower. And uh, let's make autofill using this speed map. And this is not result that we wanted because I want you to pay attention that don't forget to turn on effect and masks. Now we have it. And Look at that. Oh, like that. You see, we can turn off this thing and let's turn on preview. And now our plants growing and growing in a creative, not boring and really organic way. You see? And it's this technique and this tip will help you to create beautiful plants growing really fast. We really did it really fast just right now. And the more advanced thing is about this logo. Merry Christmas. We're going to apply autofill and I'm going to show you some interesting thing. Uh, a lot of things disconnected. We can make it like that, make borders weaker and we have our reveal and uh, everything is fine, everything is good. Uh, but now we're going to create our speed map again by using it alpha channel like that. So here is our Merry Christmas logo and here is Alpha Channel. And blackness means slower and bright parts mean faster. And we're going to use our autofill speed map using effect and masks because we blurred out it using Gaussian blur and Alpha. And what will happen? You see, uh, if we are not using a speed map and we'll make borders so weak, so they disappear. So right now, uh, Autofill don't have instruction about your logo. So it's just growing a circle. But, but we can use alpha channel or oh, speed map as instruction for autofill. So even if our borders disappeared, our autofill moving accordingly, uh, accordingly of your image, because 
it using a speed map, instruction from a speed map. If you will make it absolutely extreme, we basically having the same autofill like borders turn on, but it's just extreme speed map. And with the speed map and a little bit of blurred speed map, we have this interesting curve. So everything being uh, filled like it's fluid. And that's it. That's maybe a little bit too much. Oh no. And let's use, well, imagination and let's reveal it like we want it to reveal. Because Merry Christmas, we're revealing words from left to right and let's reveal something from opposite side. So it will, uh, more things will happen at the same time and will be more interesting to watch. Okay, maybe not so strong, maybe like that. And yes, that's it again. Precompose this, copy multiple times and let's make first one like green, bright green, the second one. Okay, let's make it red. The third one will be white. And then we have our logo. I don't like this border, so I can apply simple choker a little bit. Wait, we can make even something like that. Huh, no, let's make it, whoa, big, huh? Well, we have something new and interesting and unexpected and that's, that's already a lot of fun. Uh, we can apply grid with a screen to our red parts like that, maybe, maybe like that. Inverted, yeah. And now you have this Christmas look. And that's all we're done really fast, just right now. All you need is out of hell. <laughs> I'm sorry for pushing you this. I'm telling just information, just honest information without pushing my opinion, but you need how to feel. <laughs> okay, about growth source. This is point source. You can have a lot of sources to reveal and this is a simple one. The next thing is layer reveal which is pretty, pretty cool and also have this setup about effects, mass, luma, alpha and it also really, really powerful. For example, we can create a layer and make it a turbulent noise, pretty much contrast and let's make white dots. And you already could expect that these dots will be starting points. We should choose our layer Use effect and mass, that's important because our layer has turbulent noise effect, and use its luma. And look at that. Without autofill, without autofill, without autofill. We can see that autofill starts to grow from your input. And that's pretty cool because you can use strings as a source, etc, etc, etc. So about another way to use it is to use masks and use alpha. So right now everything were filled instantly because alpha channel well filled 100% of alpha channel. But you can create in this layer some masks like that. And this will be the starting points 
of your outer fill. And that's really handy because sometimes you need more than five points. Maybe you want to create a lot of places from where outer fill should grow and you, should, and you want to control this thing. And masks will totally will help you. Also, also in this example, I wanted to show you some creative ways to create speed map. So right now I created this speed map and here uh, let's use points, uh, one point, and we're going to use this as a speed map. Luma, effect and mass, and let's see what will happen. Uh, yeah, it's too much. Okay, let's start already from this line. Look at that. You, I think, at the end of this tutorial, you already could understand what's going on right now. So, outer fill going faster on the white lines of this texture that we choose as speed map and use effect and masks, so current effect and masks. And uh, we can now make it extreme, like that. And let's hide it. And now we have some kind of um, worms or snakes. Okay, maybe it was a little bit too extreme. Yeah, like that. And now it's even filling everything here. Also, cool effect if you will invert it and make it like that and make it smaller and darker. And now we're having like blob effect. Look at that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And that's it about speed map and growth sources. We will continue to uh, talking about them in advanced tutorial where we are going to discuss more complicated things. More complicated than that. Thank you very much for your attention.